Hello everybody, my name is Gravano, and welcome back to Let's Play The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, where we last left off. Get away, why is this guy such a meanie face? Leave me alone, dude. I will I will get away with you, from you, and I'm never going to talk to you again. Okay, anyways, before I got rudely interrupted, on the last episode of Let's Play Oblivion, we completed our first contract, legitimate contract, for the Dark Brotherhood, and we're just going to jump right into it and complete the next one, so... If we take a look at our active quest here, Blood of the Damned, I must accept a quest from Vicente Valtieri. And that's exactly what we're going to do. And that's this guy right here. Let's get ourselves a quest. I'm glad you've returned. The contract is waiting, if you're ready. I am ready, so I'm going to hit contract. We need you to stage an accident. Kill the target in the manner specified, and you'll receive a considerable bonus. Do you accept this contract? Yes, I accept the contract. As I expected. Good. The target is a wood elf named Bainlin. You will find him at his home in Bruma. Enter secretly and avoid his manservant, Grom. On the second floor is a secret door leading to a crawl space. Inside are the fastenings of a mounted head that hangs over Bainlin's favorite chair. Loosen those fastenings any night between 8 p.m. and 11 p.m and the head will surely fall on Bainlin as he relaxes in his chair, as is his custom. If Bainlin is eliminated in any other manner, or if the manservant Grom is killed, you will forfeit the bonus. Now go, and may Sithis be with you. Okay guys, let's go gil kill ourselves a wood elf. So, as uh, Vicente told us, we need to go find someone named Bainlin in Bruma, wasn't it? Yes, Bruma. And uh, we need to kill him, and there's many ways we can do that. We can simply walk in and uh, kill him, but we're going to have to deal with his manservant, Grom. Or we can do what he recommended, which is to loosen the, uh, like, a stuffed head, and it will uh, kill him instantly. And that's the way that I always do it, and why change things. So, uh, yeah, that's the way uh, I'm going to do it this time, too. Now, unlike Skyrim, we can fast travel directly to Bruma, which is great. And uh, if I'm remembering things right, Bruma is going to be a really disgusting... Wait, no, 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 no. Bruma is the snowy town to the north. Uh, yeah, I was thinking of Braville, which is like a really disgusting, poor place that I uh, hate. But we're actually going to... That's Braville actually, actually plays a big part in the Dark Brotherhood, so we'll definitely see that later on. But uh, we're going to make our way towards Bruma, which... If I remember right, is the snowy town to the north. So let's take a look at our map. Yep, to the north, and uh, we're gonna fast travel to the north gate. Now, I've seen some let's plays on YouTube. To be quite honest, uh, it's ironic because I'm making let's play now, but I don't really uh, watch a lot of let's plays. But I have watched a couple, and one was um, a let's play for Super Mario Sunshine, and. At the end of the Let's Play, the guy did like a breaking the game section where he like showed you all these glitches that you could do. And uh, I kind of want to do something like that too because I know a lot of cool glitches. And one big glitch I found myself is uh, in this town right here. But we'll save that for uh, for later, for the end of this Let's Play if that day ever comes. <laughs> it's going to be an extremely far away day in the future. But uh, yeah, that's all to be seen. Okay, so yeah, let's go kill this guy. He should be in one of these uh, log cabins right here. Is it this one? What is, is it? this guy? Nothing. Bainland's house. Yes, but we need to wait till 8 or 11. Let's, um, just to make sure that I'm right there. Okay, so it doesn't actually tell you, but yeah, I remember it's like 8 till 11, so let's do that. We'll wait... Uh, five, six, seven, eight. So we'll wait six hours. Alrighty. So now it's nighttime. The streets are uh, somewhat cleared, except for this guy. Let's try and sneak inside here. It's an easy lock, so we should be able to break in pretty easily. security skill increase which is nice okay uh oh I have entered Bainland's house if I can access the second floor crawl space and loosen the fastenings on the mounted head between 8 p.m. and 11 p.m. it will fall on Bainland as he rests in his chair if Bainland dies any other way or if Grom is killed I will lose my bonus which 
we definitely do not want to lose. So he's already seen me like two times. <laughs> I think it doesn't even matter that he sees me, honestly. Uh, I'm just going to walk by. See ya. And uh, that's the basement. We don't. We want to head upstairs. You can't just walk up to him and kill him, obviously, like I said. But So he's got some Cyrodiilic brandy. We're going to take that. That's actually not even stealing it, I don't think. And uh, yeah, this little hole is the indicator that we can open this. And it slides as if a ghost is maneuvering it for some weird reason. We're going to go ahead and activate this mounted head fastening. These appear to be the fastenings of the mounted minotaur head. As expected, they have been loosened over time. You could easily remove the fastenings, causing the mounted head to crash to the floor below. Do you wish to remove the fastenings? Yes. And listen very closely, folks. Ow! I don't know if you could hear that, but that was the uh, anguish cries. The mounted head has fallen on Balin, killing him as expected. I must return to the sanctuary and speak with Vince, Vincente Valtieri to receive my reward and the bonus because we have done all the. Actually, no, we haven't. If you look down there, we can you can kind of see Grom, and uh, we have to sort of sneak past him, which is kind of difficult, honestly. I've been caught by him many times, so hopefully you don't see anything. Grom, just keep looking at your map. Oh, just so you guys can see. Yeah, there he is. He's dead. The uh, thing fell on top of him. And he's dead, and Grom's just sort of standing there contemplating his life because it has no purpose now. So, see ya! Mission accomplished. I, don't, I, I remember a lot of the bonuses, but I'm forgetting, like, which ones you get for what. So, it's going to be interesting to see what we get from this one. Because, like I said, the bonuses are really cool. It's not just like, oh, you get some extra gold. Gold is actually, like, the regular reward you get. The bonuses are, like, what the real reward rewards are in my eyes. So it could be the Scales of Pitiless Justice, it could be uh, the bow I was talking about, I'm forgetting. I think it starts you off easy though, so I don't expect anything, you know, too revolutionary. Let's go find out what we're going to get anyways. Leave in oblivion, you can usually see the moon, there it is. Look at that beautiful moon. Okay. I'm wondering if the key to the well that you can use as a shortcut is actually a bonus, I'm forgetting right now. Um, also, if you guys didn't notice, we are able to level up now, and uh, we just need to find a bed, but I believe we can, yeah, we can use one in here, so we're going to do that. Leveling up in Oblivion really isn't a big deal to me, it's something that just sort of happens. Um, that's why I really like the way Skyrim did it with the perk system. In this, it's just sort of like you get little bonuses to, um, like your attributes. And it's not as noticeable, but there are some nice things that come with that stuff, obviously. So let's uh, let's take a nap before we do this, just so I don't forget. And uh, just so you guys know, that little symbol on the bottom right, to the right of the compass, that little arrow moon shining thing, that means that you are able to level up, but you need to sleep. Okay, so let's find a bed, like this one right here. We'll just sleep for one hour, just a light nap. There we go, you have ascended to level 2. Now I believe um, this little text changes every level, but at, at a certain point, it's probably 30 or earlier, it, it stops and it repeats the same thing, but I'll read them anyways. You realize that all your life you have been coasting along as if you were in a dream. Suddenly facing the trials of the last few days, you have come alive. Sounds good. So you can choose three attributes to increase. Um, these are like your overall attributes. Very similar to uh, the Fallout special if you guys you know know that which I'm sure many of you do usually what I like to do is just put the ones that are gonna have bonuses and that is the little plus ones like as you can see here plus two plus three plus three so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and do that even though you know some of the stuff actually actually I probably shouldn't do that agility and speed are good uh, willpower is mainly magic right yeah, so that's not really going to be that good for us. We have luck, personality, endurance, willpower, intelligence, strength. Uh, let's go for... Let's go for person... Mm. Yeah, let's go for... Actually, let's go for luck since it's high anyways. And, uh, yes, we are level 2 now. And uh, you'll notice in Oblivion that you will not level up nearly as fast as you would in Skyrim. But we'll get there. there like, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Like in Skyrim, I have like a level 54 character, 56 character. I forget what the level is. Um, 
but in this the highest is 34 and I've done everything in that on that guy so please tell me how I can help okay let's turn in this quest shall we the accident has been staged and oh, lies dead. well done you have more than earned your reward and bonus I present to you this dagger it's an enchanted blade known as Sufferthorn. Its prick is deadly, I assure you. Yes, you are quite an asset to this sanctuary. In fact, I believe you are ready for advancement. Oops, I sorry about I that, guys. Just hit the mic. Well done. Now go, child of Sithis. Go and rest. You will need it. Okay, so we ranked up and we got Sufferthorn, which I totally forgot about. Um, yeah, this is actually a really cool blade. Uh, and we're gonna put it on a hot key. How about to the left there? And then I'm gonna put my bow to the right. Don't worry, we will get an upgraded bow. I know this one's rusty and it's it's bad, but uh, we'll eventually get an upgraded bow. So yeah, Sufferthorn's pretty cool looking, and uh, it's a one-hit kill for the most part, if I remember right. Um, as long as you have the charges. And I know exactly the mission that we're going to be getting now because I just got this weapon because I always use it to kill the target. And uh, yeah, let's just say we're going to have to go back into the Imperial sewers. So uh, let's go ahead and get that contract. For more. It just so happens I have another contract available, one that requires an expert in infiltration. Of course, I will gladly accept. As always, you fail to disappoint me. Your target is a dark elf named Valen Dreth. He thinks he's safe in prison. He is tragically mistaken. A prisoner recently escaped from the prison using a set of secret tunnels connected to the Imperial City's sewer system. It's a perfect way me. inside. Just outside the Imperial prison is a grating that leads to the sewers. It has recently been tightly locked, but I will provide a key. It should be easy enough to locate Dreth in his small cell. Besides, I think you know the way, hmm? <laughs> Valen Dreth has been imprisoned for many years. His tongue is sharp, but his body is limp and frail. He will prove an easy, pleasurable kill. You will receive a bonus if you fulfill the contract without killing any of the prison guards. Now go, and may the Night Mother go with you. Alrighty, so this is actually cool because if you guys remember that guy at the beginning of the um, the Let's Play, the, the Dark Elf that was telling me I was going to die and was like just being a real jerk, you know, that's our target and we need to go kill him. So we need to break back into the sewers or into the Imperial prison system that we escaped from in the beginning of this game uh, to kill that guy. And like he said, he's really weak. So it's only going to take like one hit. The problem is you need to like get through the sewers. You need to get through the you know uh, the prison system, that weird area that we went through at the beginning of the game, and um, you need to not kill any prison guards. I mean, you can, but you won't get the bonus. And we're going for the bonuses, so that's a negative. You need to be like really sneaky and stealthy, which I like to think of myself as an expert in whenever I do let's plays or whenever I play video games. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So take a look at our journal here. I must break into the Imperial Prison and kill a Dark Elf prisoner named Balin Dreth. I will receive a special bonus if I manage to not kill any guards. I can either enter the Imperial Prison through the connecting sewers, which can be accessed through a lock. I can enter the Imperial Prison through the connecting sewers, which can be accessed through a locked manhole just outside the prison walls. Vincente has provided me with a key. Let's go do that. So obviously, we already have this place on our map since uh, that's where we started our journey. We can just fast travel right there. And I believe it takes you through like a, a different section of the sewer, so it's not going to be the same thing as we uh, went through in the beginning of the game. Um, it's like a much bigger, you know, route than what we're used to. Yeah, it looks like we're going right back in where we left. If you guys remember, this is where we came out in the complete beginning of the game. To the right, there should be a door. God, this is so dark. I don't remember it being this dark in the first episode. I've entered the sewers beneath the Imperial Prison. I must now proceed through the sewers and into the prison itself and kill Valen Dreth. Let's go kill that guy, shall we? I can see a mud crab in the distance. Um, this door seems to be open now, and it wasn't before, if you guys remember. So I'm assuming this is the way to go. I never remember like the exact way to go in these prisons, in this uh, sewer, which is one of the reasons why I don't like the sewer sections but we have to blaze through it to get to the cool stuff in the dark brotherhood so let's just do it 
And you can see in there, you can see some slaughter fish. I wonder if I can hit them in the, uh, in the water with arrows. Yeah, I can. Cool. Okay, so let's go through this door to the sewers. And, uh, get started. I'm almost at full capacity here. I'm probably gonna... I should take a trip to, like, the markets and, uh, you know, buy some stuff, get some upgrades, and sell all the crap that I don't need. God, this is so dark. I can't even see it. It's weird. I don't know. Brightness should be all the way up. Yep. It's only in the sewers, though. I think we'll be fine. I can see it. I'm, I'm just worried about, like, you guys not being able to see a lot of this stuff. Because YouTube uh, takes down the quality of videos once you upload them. Okay. Yeah, I remember this part. There's like a couple mud crabs in this water here. There's one right there. You can barely make them out. You're not fooling me, though. Um, I think we need to go... You know what? Screw the sneak. I want to get through this stuff fast. Because this is kind of a lengthy mission. Yes, you're very scary. Oh my god, the water texture is so bad. <laughs> a lot of you were saying I should play this on PC, and uh, yeah, I, I would have, but uh, I spent a lot of money on video games for the PC that I haven't even played yet, so buying Oblivion when I already have it on the console is probably not a smart idea. Okay, what do we got? We got some more mud crabs. How did that miss, and how did that not alert him? Um. Average gate, no problem. Come on, candy corn, fall into place. There we go. I'm going to go into sneak mode because I don't know when these guards are going to start to appear. I don't think they appear until we actually get to the prison section, though. Is it here? No. Some more sewers. Don't worry, guys. We're almost, we're almost past it. Oh, I remember this area. It's like a cistern. I think this is uh, exactly like the thing that you go to in the in the uh, Thieves Guild for Skyrim, just like a much crappier version because this is a much older game. We got some fish flopping around for no reason. Very nice. That was a nice shot, wasn't it? Okay, moving right along. I want to get that sneak up super fast. I think if we hit that little turnstile thing over there, it activates a timed. What is over here? Let's try and hit this rat with a fireball. Oh, there was another rat. Well, oh. which I cannot see in this darkness. I think I mentioned this before, but the thing I don't like about rats is that it's not about like when they attack you. It's just about like the uh, the chance of you getting a disease from one hitting you, and then you got to go cure it, which sucks. Okay. The Sanctum. So I believe this is where you actually start to get into the actual prison and not the sewers. Come on. Come on, Grovon. What are you doing? Oh my god. I just pressed X to auto attempt there. <laughs> I never usually auto attempt. It never usually works out for me and I just end up busting my lock face. Of course I'm proud okay. to do my duty, but it's a waste of time. What are we guarding? Cold stone and shadow. That's it. I'm not disagreeing with you, believe me. Those assassins got what they wanted. The Emperor is dead. They got no reason to come back. That's exactly what I'm saying. But will the Captain listen? No. We must have a presence. The prison must remain secure. Yeah, what a laugh, huh? Just who are we keeping secure? Dreth? Since that other one got away, he's the only one rotting down here. Yeah, Not well, for I long. guess you can't blame Captain Montrose too much. This is his big career move, after all. Got to impress that lot upstairs. Yeah, Alright guys, stop enough. talking, please. Oh, well, and split up. I best be getting back to my watch. Hey, don't forget, we're meeting for drinks later at the bloated float. Oh, I'll be there. How could I miss a chance to see you cower before that big orc bouncer? <laughs> I ain't afraid of no one. Courage is my middle name. I. Oh, Alright, so if you guys remember, um, we can't kill these guards. So that's why, you know, I, I kind of wish it was just like, don't alert the guards. That would have been cool. Because then we can kill them all sneakily. 
but yeah, we want to completely avoid these guys, and this area is sort of lit up pretty heavily, so we need to stick to the shadows, move slowly, and uh, we'll be fine. As you can see, there's a guard right there. I think our sneak is huh? higher than... Uh-oh. Can we get up here? Whoops. Okay, I'm going to have to load an autosave there because he got alerted. And that means that he will follow me all the way to Dreth. Um, and I can't kill him, which I don't want to do. Oh, my. Wow. How is that the last, last autosave? Okay, guys, well, you know what this means. I will see you in a split second when I uh, get up to the point that I just was at. Oh, goodbye. Alright guys, welcome back. I've successfully snuck past uh, this one guard back there, which he's just like looking at the wall um, and let me sneak right past him. I don't know what the point of that is, but uh, yeah, we are so close to Dreth, I can feel it. And uh, we're gonna kill him. That's the goal. Okay, so let's stick to the shadows. I think there's a couple more sections with guards here, and uh, I saved um, at the beginning of the section so that I wouldn't have to go through the sewers for a third time. I guess the auto saves are not as prevalent as they are in Skyrim, you know, like when you go through a, a a door or a new section, it usually saves. Okay, so we got another guard up here that we're gonna have to get past. Unfortunately, we can't kill them. If we could, I could just fling an arrow. Oh god! Damn it. Okay. I didn't think that would happen. <laughs> okay, uh, I will see you guys again in a second. Okay, welcome back. Here's that guy that I failed to sneak past the first time, but hopefully... Ah! Okay, <laughs> this is uh, much harder to do on a Let's Play than it is solo, that's for sure. Um, but I saved right before this. Maybe we can sneak past before he turns Who's over that? here. Nobody, nobody. Okay, no we can't, okay. Let's, um... Let's see where he goes. Hopefully he'll walk right past us if he comes this way. Are you gonna come this way? Or what are you gonna do, buddy? What are you gonna do, buddy? Okay, you coming this way, or... Oh, I can't tell, I can't tell, I can't tell. What are you... Where... Are you just looking at the wall? Okay, that's cool. Um, I don't think there's anything on that table that we need. Hopefully we'll be able to just sneak past him. Do not turn around. Do not turn around. Okay. Okay. Let's save here, because I don't want to be doing that again. Obviously, this would be much more easier if I could just kill these people, but I cannot. I think there might be one more guard um, that we need to get past. If not, we're home free, pretty much. Okay, I can't see anything right now. There we go. This looks like the way. Okay, I think there might be one more guard in here. And after that, we should be home free. Or this might be it. Yeah, I think this is it, actually. So, I could have killed him with the bow. But we're going to see what he has to say. I think he has some dialogue. Um, I think, yeah. So, the, the compass icon has turned green, which means he's in this section right now. If it was red, that means we have another door to get through, like another section. So we are in the same area as him right now, so we should be able to get to him in a few seconds. Hey, look at that! You guys remember this? This is where we began our journey. This is the uh, exact thing. Let's just save here, just in case I get caught. I told you I was going to get out of here. My time's almost up, and there's nothing you can do about it. There's something yeah, I can do well, about it. What's it been? Seven, eight years? We've had a good long run, you and me. I always knew it would end someday. Eleven! Eleven years in this rat-infested hole! But I'm getting out, and you'll still be stuck in here! Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah? Where will you go, huh? What will you do? 
You can't survive out there, Dreth. You're an animal. You belong in that cage. I'll remember that when I'm lying on the beaches of Somerset Isle with your wife, you Imperial pig. Oh, right. snap. And you'll be rich, too. Oh, and you'll become a king. And you know what I think, Dreth? <laughs> I think you'll be back. You lot always come back. You'll see, you Imperial dog. When I get out of here, all of Tamriel will know my name. Valen Dreth. Valen Dreth. All right, all right. I'm tempted to let you out right now if you just shut up. Okay, guys. Well, Valen Dreth seems to think that he has, you know, some plans uh, for riches once he gets out of here to leave a to live a happy life. Well. Our job is to uh, stop those plans, and we're going to do that. And I'm going to save here just in case anything goes wrong. It shouldn't, but just in case. Let's open this gate very quietly. Hey, Dreth. Wait. I, I know you. You, you're the one. The, the day the Emperor was killed. They went through your cell. You lucky bastard. But you came back? Come on. You've got to help me. Let old Valen out of this cell. You've got your freedom, now give me mine. What do you say, huh? Come on, friend. The Night Mother says goodbye. The Night Mother? No, no, guards, guards, help me. Somebody help, assassin. I don't think they can actually hear his cries also. Boom! Wait, do we actually have to open the door? I forget. They come in? No, I don't think so. The gate is hard to lock. It doesn't seem like... We can actually kill this guy through the gate with a sword, Let, or with a, a dagger. Um, let's try and equip in this bell. If not, it looks like we're going to have to... Okay, yeah, that worked. Valen Dreth is dead and no guards have been killed. I must return to the sanctuary and speak with Vincente Valteri to receive my reward as well as a bonus. Goodbye, Valen Dreth. That's going to be awkward when the guards come and find a dead body in there. Um, yeah, let's get out. I don't think we have to go back the way that we came. We're going to grab the... Oh, there's a cell key right here, right? I forgot. Yeah, so we could have grabbed that key and then killed him. Um, I don't think that we have to go back the way that we came. I think we can just exit through a door up here. I think this allows us to just get out, right? Needs a key, but we have a key. I think there might be guards on the other side of this, but I don't think they will be aggroed towards us. Uh, I hope not, at least. Yes! Cool, very nice. We are done with this quest. Now to turn it in, and that's going to do it for this Let's Play, ladies and gentlemen. This is working out quite nicely, I have to say, wrapped up in just about 30 minutes. So now we just have to go back to Vincente, get our bonus, and our money, what and, is it, uh, citizen? yeah. So let's go do that. Now these are by far not the most fun quests in uh, for the Dark Brotherhood. There's going to start being some really, really, really fun quests, and uh, that's really why I wanted to do this. And I'm sure many of you know the ones that I'm talking about, like the uh, the house party one. I uh, cannot wait to do that one. That is one of my favorites. I think we also might move up from Vincente after this one. There's a there's a time where you get orders like from Ochiva next I think once we get ranked up or we might have to do like a couple more for Vincente I'm not sure Oh, if you saw the, the loading screen there, it said a master of acrobatics can jump off the surface of water. So how this game works is if you uh, level up your skills to like certain thresholds, I think it's 25, 50, 75, and 100 points, uh, you get like a special bonus for each for each of those four things, for each, um, for each skill. And they're pretty cool too, and we'll go over that later on. But right now, let's go talk to Vincente. And there's this little weird hatch here. That lets you go downstairs right here. I don't know what the point of that is, but... So, you infiltrated the Imperial prison, eliminated Vale and Dreth, and killed not one guard. Most excellent. In addition to your standard reward, I present to you this bonus. Behold, the scales of pitiless justice. While carried, the scales will magically enhance your strength, intelligence, and agility, but diminish your personality. A powerful tool indeed. 
Alrighty, very nice. So, we got some gold, and we also got a bonus, which is going to be the Scale of Pitiless Justice. What that is, it's a miscellaneous item. Right here. And you sort of have to hold it. It's, it weighs four units, or whatever. Um, and it gives you, you know, like a nice bonus to three attributes, but a, uh, a negative... Or it takes away two from your personality. So, eh, it's cool. Whatever. Uh, we're just going to hold that onto that till the end of the game as it's a nice little bonus. So, that's going to do it for this Let's Play, ladies and gentlemen. Next time, we will continue in the Dark Brotherhood. We're about to get in some, into some really fun quests. Uh, yeah, and I'm really looking forward to it. Thanks for watching. My name is Krovan, and as always, have a great day. Bye. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed watching that video. If you did, please consider leaving a like. Also, if you'd like to subscribe and or watch a video that's probably going to be related to the one that you just watched, you can click the annotations on the screen. Finally, if you want to help me grow my channel, you can also share this video on Facebook and Twitter by clicking share below the video. Regardless, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later.